You know, when the pandemic first hit, all of us were looking for ways to avoid catching the deadly virus. One Southfield businessman said he had the answer, a high tech face mask that would keep us safe. But as Fox News, Rob Wolchuk found out his claims came up short. Rob. Rupert Tiran, remember how scared everyone was a year ago? We were willing to pay anything to be safe. So is this fancy pants mask the answer or is the guy behind it just full of hot air? This is the man behind the mask. He has absolutely been a ghost. Not this kind of mask. He ought to be really ashamed of himself. Not even this kind of mask. They're saying that this is N95. There is absolutely no way. Lalit Verma is the man behind the leaf mask, a product that hit the market right on cue. It looks fancy, high tech, safe. The leaf mask was a runaway success. So why is the mask man running away? Oh, you gotta be kidding me, pal. I thought you were a big international businessman. Spring of 2020 was a scary time. COVID-19 had everybody worried. Businesses were shut down. Mask mandates were everywhere. But a company called Redcliffe Medical had a solution, a see-through mask that featured carbon HEPA filters, which claimed to possess N95 and even N99 ratings. The LEAF mask was put into an Indiegogo fundraising investment campaign, and it took off, raising more than $4 million from backers. Investors were promised leaf masks and the entrepreneur running the company looked like a safe bet. Mr. Verma has developed many successful ventures from startup to a multi-million revenue business. That's Lalit with Detroit Mayor Mike Duggan and ex-governor Rick Snyder. Here he is showing off his new $300,000 Bentley SUV. But Lalit's customers aren't impressed. They're mad. Francis is an essential worker, a grocery store clerk in California. Where I work, we've actually had one employee that contracted COVID-19 and he died. She ordered several of the high quality masks last July and they sure weren't cheap. I think it was $993. Almost a year later, she still didn't have them, even though she was an original backer on Indiegogo. Chris is another original backer. He runs a mental health clinic in Lansing. He ordered more than $1,000 worth of leaf masks to keep his staff and patients safe. To me, this is also really personal beyond even just the money because, you know, just a couple days after Christmas, my father passed away from COVID. Even though he paid Redcliffe last July, he still hasn't received his full order. And the mask he did get arrived just last month. He doesn't even need them now. The mask mandates have been lifted in Michigan. Why would you see this tragedy that's been happening all across the world? You know, mil like millions of deaths at this point. You think, man, I can make a buck off that. Here's Bethany from New York. I'm a band teacher, so I really wanted my students to be able to see my face for when I breathe in and then show them when it's time to blow or breathe into their instruments. Remember how there was a toilet paper shortage at the beginning of the pandemic? Well, she thinks she knows where some of that TP went to. It's a toilet paper accordion. Look at that. See it? Yeah, she doesn't think these supposed HEPA filters are charming. She thinks they're charm in if you look really closely there's a little diamond pattern on it just like toilet paper that's not a safety filter dr monica wood knows masks she's a surgeon in arizona you can see how these holes don't have filter she says there are design flaws in the mask but she was willing to give it a try and so i was in an airport i was traveling and i was adjusting my mask like you know with this and it would just pop up open and all these people say they can never get anyone at the company to help them. So they're taking their complaints to court, claiming the small number of masks that have been delivered have been delivered with material defects, which eliminate any protection the mask is meant to offer from COVID-19. We had hundreds of complaints, no product being delivered, no response from the company. Melanie Dukanall is president of the Eastern Michigan Better Business Bureau. When you just flat out don't respond to your own customers, it throws up red flags all over the place. So the BBB put out this press release, but things never got any better. They never responded to any of our inquiries. So I started looking into Lalit Verma, and it turns out I didn't have to go far. Lalit was touted as a savior to the city of Detroit in 2017 when he and the governor and mayor broke ground on a factory to build auto parts for General Motors. Lalit Verma's company then, Sakti Automotive, was supposed to provide hundreds of jobs to Detroiters and received $5 million in grants. Lalit was even in interviewed along with other big shots. We believe that uh, employees are our assets, okay? 
if we don't keep our employees happy, they cannot give us a productivity what we need. Well, those employees sure weren't happy because the company went belly up two years later, according to Crane's Business Detroit. At the same time his auto company was being sued by Huntington Bank for being in default and owing them more than $19 million, Lalit, the company's CEO, was receiving a vanity award for excellence in finance. So Fox 2 did another story on the company going into receivership and liquidating their assets. We tried reaching out to Sakti for answers, but we're not allowed on the property and no one is picking up the phone. And now no one's getting return calls again. Not Leaf Mask customers, not the Better Business Bureau, nor me. So I went looking for Lalit Verma and found out that's not even his real name. His cars and businesses are registered to a Lalit Kumar at this million dollar lakefront home in Bloomfield. Jeez, guy could use a gardener, huh? Yep, I'm actually wearing one of the Leaf Masks an unhappy customer sent me. Hi there, I'm looking for Lalit Kumar. He's not here. He's not? Okay. Can you tell me when he'll uh, be back? Where I'm from Fox 2 in Detroit. I tell the woman who says she's Lalit's wife I need to speak to him about the masks. He'll be back later today. He'll be back later today? If you want to give me your card, he can give you a phone. Then there's this old factory on Nevada Street in Detroit. This is the return mailing address on the leaf masks that have been mailed out. I met at the gate by a security guard named Bo. Yeah, I'm Rob from Fox 2. So we're looking for this mask company. You familiar with this? This guy that makes these leaf masks. See, the, the address comes back to here. You ever seen these masks? Um, I believe so. He calls for a supervisor. While we wait, he says this. Lala just pulled off a while ago. Oh, Lala came here? Hey. But the supervisor, Cal, says this. Lala is out of the country. He's out of the country? Anyway. You guys make these masks here? Yeah. What business do you do here? What are you doing? Hmm. Yeah, I don't think I can answer any of your questions, guys. Mm -hmm. I don't want to mess up. What's your, you, can I ask you what your position is here? No. No? No. Well, it also has an office at the town center in Southfield. I went there a dozen times, but no one was ever there. Finally, I spot the mysterious mask man himself. How come you haven't contacted me? I came by your house. I wanted to ask you some questions. I'm just heading to the airport. Uh, you can reach out to me. Where, where are you headed? The airport. The airport? What are you going to the airport for? For a meeting. Okay. Well, listen, I need to talk to you about these talk masks. What's going on? What's that? Talk to my lawyer. Who's your lawyer? Don't you won't me. even call me. Hey, Lalit. Lalit, take my card. Oh, you got to be kidding me, pal. I thought you were a big international businessman. You know, I'm getting tired of this masquerade. Wallet, you're in the Hall of Shame. Lollett never did call me back, his lawyer never called, and he never did say what happened to the $4 million. And now that Lollett is finally starting to deliver the mask, his customers say it's way too little and way, way too late.